just uh, heard and saw on the tablature on the screen was just a simple way to approach soloing over the 12 bar blues. The 12 bar blues is the most common chord progression there is. And so therefore it probably is one of the most common um, progressions that you would solo over. And just the one, four, five chord, A and then the D and that E are the most common chords you would find in any song really. And so having a, a knowledge of how to solo over them is incredibly important. Now, what I was doing is if you listen to that, you might think, well, that was kind of boring. There wasn't a lot to it. And that's the point. Um, this is an, an introduction to soloing over your 12-bar blues and intentionally changing with the chord. When a lot of people start off soloing, they're just kind of playing a scale all over the place. Mm -hmm. And this forces you, by way of an exercise, to play and recognize each chord. And what I'm doing is if I take a, a, a simple uh, A major bar chord like this, we would call this an, an E-shaped chord because it's based off of the open E chord. Yeah. And so it looks like this. Uh, I'm going to do the same shape for the D and for the E. Now, in this shape here, this is an A major chord. There's three notes that make up this A major chord. It's the notes A, C sharp, and E. And so I'm on that seventh fret of the fourth string, sixth fret, and then fifth fret on um, the respective strings there, third string and second string. So it just looks like that. I'm using finger three, two, and one. And uh, as the A7 chord goes, I just play right on the beat. One, two, three, four. When it shifts, I just take that same shape to the D at the 12th fret. And when it goes to the E, same thing. That is how you do the basic shape, and all I'm doing is playing the notes of the chord. So it's a really simple way to get used to changing with the chord, making sure that you're hitting every single note. Now I can't stress this enough. While that may seem boring and simple, don't shortchange yourself in trying to uh, learn how to play lead by skipping this step. Because what it does is it forces you to change when the chord changes. Now, obviously, there are a lot of things that you can add to, to this. Different phrasing. You can do different type of phrasing over it um, other than just this. But start with this simple playing of the notes, playing that arpeggio over the chord, and as the chord changes, you will change as well. From there, you can branch out and start to actually develop um, some interesting uh, blues lines or interesting jazz lines over the top of the chord. I hope that helps. If it is helpful, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. I'm, I'm happy to answer them if I can.